We're getting straight into this one. Just one camera angle today, people. We need to learn this bad boy. We're celebrating 20 years of, um, of the D. 20 years. Love this tune. The first riff goes like this. So it's basically an A minor chord, but you start the phrase on the fourth beat, so it's one, two, three, two hammer-ons. And what I tend to do, I mean, you could keep your fingers in that position and just do, you know, second finger and third finger, right? Hammering on the um, open D to the second fret, open G to the second fret. Um, but I tend to use my third finger. Don't ask me why, I just find it easier. And then that finger is in the right position for the rest of the um, A minor chord, but I abandon it for the, uh, you know, I don't keep my fingers in the, in situ, as it were. But you could if you wanted to, up to you, but that's just how I do it. Then you're gonna play, arpeggiate the first two notes of that chord, right? The root A and the second fret on the D, which is an E note. Then you play a big chord. Then you've got this rhythm, okay? That is just down, down, up, down, down, up, twice, okay? And then you have this. Again, you're fretting the same chord, but you're gonna play hammer on from the first to the third, oh, that's on the B string there. And then you take your first finger off and your little finger, so you've got your rock. You've got the devil horns, and then you're going to put the first finger back onto the uh, onto the first fret on the B string. It sometimes sounds like he's playing, but he isn't. I'm pretty sure he's just doing that. And then the second bar is the same um, three beats. But then with this fill. So, slowly. And round. That's it. Then, when they're chatting to the devil, you just got series of eighth notes palm muted and you do three and a half bars of that and then you do this and then back in right so it kind of builds back into the riff then the next riff is a series of chords you're basically going to be playing a minor to g to f and then uh, an f sus don't know what that is f sus something it goes like this then leads into the yeah that bit look into my eyes and it's easy to see that one <laughs> just just brilliant the rhythm's slightly different between the two parts but I have tabbed it out so we'll go through it um first time round it goes so down down up and on the upstroke you just take all your fingers off because that's when you're going to be moving to the G. Three on the G. And off again. Then you've got this F chord. Now Cage does play it with his thumb over the top. And just um, third fret from the D, right? The D. All right, but because he's got his finger all the way over, essentially muting that A string there, right? So you could do that or you could do the whole chord if you wish. It does sound fuller, but um, that is how he plays it. So the second bar then is... Down, 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 up. Rest, and then take your second finger off, and then you play up, down, 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 which is... So that's second bar in total. 
chords. The first two bars then go. Right, and then the second part is very subtly different. You're basically playing all right, just three eighth notes rather than. And then you've got a couple of sixteenth notes. So down, up, down, down, up. And again, you take your, your, all your fingers off for that last eighth note. Um, and then you're back into the same uh, F um, riff. That's that chunk. Next bit's cool. You've got D to F to C with G in the bass to F again. And that goes. All right, and then you play it around again. Um, the second time you'll play with a couple of whackers. So slowly. D, D, and then all your fingers off. Change to the F. And again, you're going to play down, 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 up. What I do there is I leave my first finger where it is, because you're going to be fretting that anyway, and the rest are open as you move to this chord, right? So the shape is essentially um, like a major bar chord that you drop down one string and then your first finger on the um, first fret on the B. Lovely chord. Okay, and you're gonna play down, 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 up. But again though, the last one, when you do the up, I would take all my fingers off and then go to the G. Okay, so slowly the whole thing. As I say, you play that round again with back around into the verse, and then when it goes into the are we are but men rock, you basically play you just do five eighth notes for that part, right? On the uh, on the A minor, and then you've got this is just eighth notes, so it's played much straighter this time. Into, this is not the greatest song in the world bit right so that's the same chords we played before but they're just played with eighth notes now in this part you're going to do a bar of a minor then you go to a G and then back to a minor second time right so let me play it through again into an A major right so the first um, and the third bar are the same so two kind of um, A5s big chord Three A5s, big chord, A5, okay? Then this part goes down, down, up, up, open. A minor for two, and then you leave your first finger where it is, take your um, second and third fingers off and play little hammer-ons, right? So that slowly. Um, next time is so you can embellish a bit there with a couple of um, down down ups right which is and then 
So two, G, then whack. All right. Um, then you go around again, and the second time you're going to go to an A. So that last time would be. All right. Uh, in fact, there's five eighth notes there, so it's. So the rundown riff is awesome. It goes like this. A bit trickier actually than the rest of the tune, but it's worth it. Some cool chords. It goes like this. So, A sus two this time, rock chord. Down, 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 up. Little finger on the uh, G. And that will naturally mute the A string. So it's like an A sus two with G in the bass. Same rhythm though, down, 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 up. Then you're gonna go to this. That's a D five with F sharp in the bass. So again, second finger on the um, on the uh, second fret on the A, on the E uh, will naturally meet the A, and then you're going to hear that ringing out. Okay, but you're going to play so two there on the D five. Take your little finger off and put your first finger on the B uh, on the first fret on the B. Sorry. And three with it off. And another whack, right? So it's. And then you change to the F. So you're going to do three with the F. It starts on an upstroke, so it's up, down, up. Take your second finger off. And play another three, and then take everything off. Not your clothes, just your hands off the fretboard. Like that. So slowly the whole thing. And then round again, right? Oops. Um, solo kicks in over the top of that as well, but um, underneath the chords do change. If you do want the solo, like I say, let me know. I'll do the guitar, the uh, electric guitar parts for this in a separate lesson. Um, but the solo then goes to uh, an E7. Like that, right? Now, if you don't care about nailing their funky rhythmic bits, um, in the second part of this then don't worry just play uh, an E7 to an F okay so the first F fill if you like that Cage plays is this all right that rhythm second time he plays which is basically five really quick what did we revive the second part is two on the F take your second finger off and then you're gonna play Then you've got some frankly really fast stuff going on and I'll probably need a softer pickup than I've got but it's basically <laughs> stuff like that right so the rhythm is basically I 
I would just tremolo pick that rhythm and have fun and it ends on a uh, on an F and then you've got this chord just arpeggiate that any way you see fit that's it for me see you again soon cheers <laughs>